you guys, Sean T. Phillips here on that brand new out of print DVD and Blu-ray collection video. It's been about two years or so since I've done an out of print DVD or Blu-ray video. So pretty much just going to go through where I went and pulled out a bunch of the ones that I know they're out of print. Of course, I know there are a lot of ones that I have missed, but these are some of the ones that I know are, you know, talked about in the past. There's some new ones mixed in here as well. And if you guys don't know what out of print DVDs and Blu-rays are, they're pretty much movies that, you know, are either not produced anymore or like uh, rare editions or certain ones that have certain slip covers that are no longer produced and you know um, and it's basically for you know this video is for you guys so you guys know if you're in like used video stores or thrift stores and stuff like that these are some of the ones that are like the hard to find ones that I would definitely recommend you know picking up for sure but like I said though of course I know I missed a, not a lot of ones in this video as well but let the out of print video begin so we're starting now over here in the horror and some of these ones in the past I've gone through but I've kind of picked through some of like my favorite ones that stood out as out of print. I know though in here there's probably a whole lot of other ones that I've missed but these are like you know kind of the ones that I would say like if you guys come across these would be ones I'd recommend picking up you know for a decent price. These ones um all of these Amityville sequels have gone out of print. Amityville Dollhouse, uh, Amityville uh, Next Generation. Luckily, I found that one for $2. And then Amityville, It's About Time. Um, this one, though, I, I think I ended up paying like $30 for it because it's one of those ones I was always trying to find. This one here, um, Alice Sweet Alice, the Blu ray of this was out of print in the um, US, but they just, I mean, the DVD of this one was out of print in the US, but uh, 88 Films just released the Blu ray. So this one is a region free Blu ray. So that one isn't as valuable anymore if you have the DVD because there's a Blu ray. This is one I can't believe still hasn't come out to Blu ray. Hopefully, someone like Shot Factory, you know, Screen Factory releases this one alone in the dark. It's a very very creepy movie. I know there is a HD uh, transfer of it out there because I saw it I think on like um, the movie channel or something like that was airing it. This edition, there's a lot of the um, uh, Arrow video releases that have gone out of print. The big deluxe editions, the um, Bride of Reanimator, this specific one has gone out of print. And also, a lot of the slip covers on uh, Scream Factor releases have gone out of print. Like the Black Christmas one here. Um, and that, not the uh, actual Blu rays. You can still find the Blu rays, but to actually find the ones with the slip covers themselves is actually pretty rare. So, if you find those for a decent price, definitely worth uh, picking up. This is also out of print. You don't see this very much. This is the Canadian release of the Black Christmas remake. I don't know for sure though if this edition was the uncut one because I remember they released I believe like an uncut DVD of it I believe. Now this one is just an obscure one that I feel like a lot of people don't know just came out. The movie star starring Corey Haim, Backlot Murders. This was all filmed on the backlot but this isn't out of print but it was rare to see the actual DVD. But um this company called like Dark Force Entertainment released this one. Um, these are some Twilight Time releases ones that are out of print. The one for Body Double, which is probably one of my top, like in my top 10, top 20 movies of all time. Like that movie, it's basically about a guy who is, you know, stays in this apartment and he starts spying out the window of this woman and he witnesses her getting murdered and he becomes kind of obsessed with the whole thing. It's such a great movie. Uh, the Blob, this is the Twilight Time one that's gone out of print. There's also an um, Umbrella Entertainment entertainment release of that one. Uh, this is another one of the slip covers you don't come across for the John Carpenter anthology film Body Bags. This is actually one of my favorite John Carpenter movies to ever to watch. I don't know, I just love the segments in this movie and the music and everything. Just a really, really fun movie. Another uh, Screen Factory one uh, slip cover that's out of print is The Burning. Uh, and another slipcover uh, from Scream Factory as well is Cat People. And also, guys, in the comments below, you know, let me know and like put other um, out of print ones that you guys know about, just to let everyone else know um, some other out of print ones that you guys know about. Because, like I said, it's it takes. I was going through here for like over an hour trying to figure out some of the ones that I knew were out of print. Uh, a lot of these are out of print and really rare now. The um, the releases from Echo Bridge, the Echo Bridge Blu-rays. Surprisingly, these were like, you know, a lot of these were sold really cheap at Walmart and places like that, but the company is like changed now and it's like more, it's not the same anymore, so they don't have a lot of these titles anymore. So a lot of these things, these budget ones that they release, like Children of the Corn 3, the Children of the Corn uh, series here have all gone out of print. I think like Jersey Girl, like the Kevin Smith movie, that's a really rare one. Uh, this is one I found in this video store. You know, this really, really like messed up video store, but um, 
a Karen Black movie here called Children of the Night. This is actually a pretty cool one. I remember watching that one as a kid, always getting creeped out by it. Um, this other one, of course, you know, Clown House. This was one of those ones I was lucky to get because it... Um, it was like a, a store called Saturday Matinee, which is long gone. But they used to always put movies out early. And um, this movie got pulled from the shelves like before it got released because there's all kind of bad stuff with this director and everything and what happened on this movie. So the you know, MGM ended up pulling this release. But I ended up getting it, you know, just for whatever it cost when it was brand new. So like... I don't know what it was, like $20 or whatever from when it first came out. But that's when you sometimes come across that one. I came across a loose disc of that as well. This is another one I've talked about a lot. Uh, really, really great TV movie here. And this was released by Wild Eye Releasing. It was an early one. I think probably their first or second release that they put out. And this was a TV movie. Hopefully somebody like uh, Scream Factory releases this down the line because this is an amazing TV movie. It's very it's from the same director. Something happened, so he did it like uncredited, but the same director who did Bad Ronald, which is one of my top favorite movies ever, which is actually going to be coming to Blu-ray finally from the Warner Archive. Uh, this is one. Now this is out of print, but um, there's going to be a 4K of this coming out. But this edition still will be out of print. The Twilight Times Christine. This is a um, TV series that John Waters hosted. I think this was on like True TV or something like that. And this was um, all about like um, murders and everything. And it was kind of like reenactments and he was the host of this. And this is a really rare one to come across. The director of um, Jeff Lieberman, Just Before Dawn, he was like the producer on this one. Now there's, there's been a lot of other editions of uh, Dawn of the Dead. I have so many different ones. Like I have up here the um, zombie edition here, which has the 4K one. And then this one, the film with Tiny Tim, Blood Harvest, that's out of print as well. Um, that's from 88 Films. That ended up getting like pulled because like the director didn't like this title. So if you guys come across that one as well, it's not an amazing movie, but Tiny Tim is so cool in that movie. Like like the way he's singing, he sings these crazy songs and it's just so over the top and he's not really an actor and he just has this really creepiness. But if, if you guys ever come across that one, uh, definitely get that. There's also the Dawn of the Dead one there. Like I said, there's stuff all over the place in this room. That's out of print, the old DVD. DVD. But like I said, these old um, uh, Anchor Bay ones out of print. I'm hoping though, um, Shout Factory, you know, Scream Factory, one of them releases this, uh, you know, Ultimate Edition down the line. And I think this one might be out of print. The actual release, I don't know for sure. I, I know the slipcover is Day of the Dead. That's probably my most watched of um, the Romero films. I don't know why. I just something about that one. And I know they, you know, they made the remake of it. The um, the Day of the Dead remake, which was okay, like, you know, the um, Bloodline one. I have, you know, anything the remake-wise with these I have, like, same with Day of the Dead 2 Contagion, which is terrible, but I still, I don't know, I, I, anything with that series I always like. This one, though, I know is out of print, and I saw a lot of different things about prices of this one. Deadly Eyes. This was one of the really early uh, Scream Factory releases, like one of their some of their one of their first ones. This Killer Doll movie, uh, Dolly Dearest. I know this one is. I'm pretty certain is out of print. Like I said, I may be going across a number of other ones that are out of print. Like I this like Don't Deliver Us from Evil might be out of print. Death Game. I think that might be... I, it's just so hard to, to know. There's so many different ones here, and it's so hard to go through all of them. Of course, Dead Alive. And I, I still actually have this one sealed. And this is one of those ones I bought at Walmart. They had, like, a stand in the front of, like, new releases. And this one... um. I think I got it for like $8 or something really, really cheap. This one, the price of this is all over the, pr the place. Even the DVD of this is out of print as well. Of course, Friday the 13th, this edition here, and I have the tin somewhere as well on the shelf, but this is out of print because like they re-released a lot of these, but there's been so many like rights issues with these and the later sequels have not been re-released again, but this has all of them together. So a really, really great set. This is one of some of those movies I really want to go and re-watch them again because I haven't seen some of them in years. Uh, another one of the um, out of print ones from Echo Bridge is these Hellraiser uh, sequels. Like I said, all the, all of these um, Echo Bridge ones have been very rare now. Like there's 
Um, if you come across them, always check the prices of these. Of course, like I said, with me, I don't resell these things. I've talked about that in the past. I just keep these for myself. But I always, I, I don't like to pay out of print prices. I like to come across them for, you know, you know, low prices and like used stores or uh, thrift stores and that kind of stuff. That's to me is always cool. This edition of the Howling is um, out of print uh, with it, with this particular slip cover. And this is one of those movies too that you never hear about and it's become like totally forgotten uh, grandmother's house. And this, I remember this is from a weird company called Omega Entertainment. Like they've been, been gone. And they, they always had like sort of a cheapness to the way this looked on the back. Like even when this was first came out, I thought it had like kind of a cheap kind of quality to their releases. But a really, really crazy movie. I always liked this movie. Watched this one so many times. Hopefully, this is one of those ones I feel like maybe Vinegar Syndrome would release. I don't know. I, I, I'd be really cool if they did. This is one of the other early, early uh, Scream Factory releases for The Fun House. Another one that I've watched so many times. Such a great movie. Uh, Fright Night, the 30th anniversary Twilight Time edition. This one here is out of print. Probably, you know, one of one of the really, really not not my all-time favorite vampire movie. My favorite vampire movie is probably tied with Lost Boys and Near Dark. Like those ones. It's really hard to say. I saw something about this being out of print, Killer Mermaid. I don't know for sure. I know this edition here of um, Jack Frost is out of print with the uh, the, uh, the slip cover here changing like this. This is a really really fun movie. Another one that I watched, you know, you know, as a kid all the time. And then in here too, there's a couple other random ones. Like these are not out of print, but sometimes they, the prices of these can be kind of crazy if you're not. Um, getting them from the actual Code Red website. If you get them from the Code Red website, they're much cheaper, like Just Before Dawn and uh, a lot of their releases. So make sure you get them from them directly because they're much cheaper. Uh, this is one that's really pricey, uh, really one of the super pricey slipcovers, Life Force. There, there's a new steelbook of that that came out, but that uh, actual slipcover, though, is real sought after. Another one I can't believe isn't out on Blu-ray, Link. Um, it's a movie that... Um, it's this crazy killer monkey movie starring Elizabeth Sue. Another one I always really liked. Uh, this is a great uh, Ice Cream Man movie, Mr. Ice Cream Man. It's like shot on video, and it's super, super cheesy, but I love it. It's like it's one of those so bad it's good kind of movies. Uh, Murder Rock, which I believe is going to be coming out. I might have heard like Scorpion releasing or something is going to be putting this one out. But this was a really cool one, Lucio Fulci movie with really good music as well. Another one you don't hear about much is a Something Weird release. So I have a feeling this will probably get a Blu-ray release because some of the Something Weird titles have been coming out lately. But this crazy guy who's like killing people and then you know serving up them in his restaurant. Uh, then this is another sold after one of uh, My Bloody Valentine, the original film. And some of these ones aren't opened. You know what I mean? Like if I come across one that is you know opened for cheap like nothing i'll um you know finally be able to watch it again but i at some point i am going to open it up uh, motel hell this slipcover version another one this is a movie that i've watched uh, so many times absolutely love that movie just an amazing film uh, night of the comet this slipcover edition is out of print like i said you can still find the actual blu-rays but not the um slipcovers the slipcovers themselves versions are this is another one i cannot believe is still not on blu-ray uh the director recently came back and did um a, a movie called fender bender and he's been doing movies again like he does some really great stuff this is a night flyer starring miguel fewer who passed away about two years ago but i was always a huge Huge fan of him. He was an amazing character actor, and this is about this guy who's going and killing people in this little plane. This really cr creepy uh, character, but it, it's a really, really scary movie. Um, some of the other ones here. Uh, I'm not going to show this cover here, but Porno Holocaust. That's a rare one to come across. This one, Polish Shore actually just posted about this one on Instagram. Phantom of a Mall, and this was filmed in the now torn down Sherman Oaks Galleria because they this was redone. But the original mall, they filmed like Chopping Mall in there and a number of other movies. This is about a killer in a mall, and another one I always liked this guy who got burned in a fire and then went nuts and was like killing people off in this mall that was getting ready to open. Pin, another one that I always liked. 
as well. Uh, Return Living Dead, this is one of the early Scream Factory ones as well. This particular slip cover is rare. This Vinegar Syndrome one, I'm so happy to have. It's like an, a horrific movie. This is a Vinegar Syndrome release, but th there was like a rights issue with the movie Savage Water, so that one, you know, isn't available anymore. But it's like such a horrible, horrible movie, but like amazing, like one of those like amazing, horrible films. Uh, Stafford Wives, which I feel like this is going to have to get a Blu-ray release very soon. It's just, it seems like that would definitely be one that would be. Uh, Ticks, this is an Olive Films release. This one was one of the few Olive Films ones that went out of print and is really, really expensive. And this is like, you know, um, with, um, who was in this, uh, I'm trying to remember who was in here it was um i'm totally blanking out on who who it was in this i don't know why i'm blanking out on it because i was going to show mr ice cream man no it's clint howard you know this <laughs> you know clint howard stars in this and he is so over the top in this and it's like i'm infested and it was it was great but these like giant killer ticks with this ki these kids on this camping trip this is actually coming to blu-ray i'm going to pre-order this soon but it's still overpriced on there it's like 30 bucks but um kino is releasing this on blu-ray trilogy of terror another really really good uh karen black tv movie uh twilight zone the movie this one some of the parent of uh, the this one wasn't paramount but i think Paramount might have re re-released it. I don't know for sure. But the Twilight Zone movie, that one's out of print. Same with all the slipcovers of the Sleepaway Camp films. All three of these movies and other films that I've watched so many times. And as well, too, this is one of my favorite Arrow releases ever. Um, I just love the look of this. This particular edition is out of print for the film Society. Up here, though, this is one of the really rare out of print things I have. This is the edition here. Sorry, things fall down. This is the edition here of... Um, uh, 30, I think it was 47 meters down, but this originally released and then it got pulled from the shelves and the movie starring Mandy Moore and there's going to be a sequel to this coming out, but it was originally called Into the Deep and this is the original uh, DVD of this and I, I never actually watched the DVD of this so I always wondered if like anything was different with the edit of this movie. I don't know for sure. Um, some of the other things up here, this is like a really weird Mac in the Middle edition I had that was like a screen or something for TV I found at a thrift store. But up here though, there's some other kind of more obscure things. Like a lot of people don't know this is released. This is the peanut butter solution. This is the Canadian edition. And it's actually on Blu-ray. But it's kind of like, I think you can get it easier now, but it was like released in Walmarts in Canada. And it's like one of my all time favorite movies. And this has like the DVD and the Blu ray, but it's the Canadian release of that one. And some of these other things, like The Toad's King, I'm pretty sure some of these Arrow ones are, um, you know, limited edition ones. And I think they're out of print. Uh, Necromantic 2, I think might. I don't know for sure if some of these are, like the American Horror Project, the Hellraiser 3 movie set, uh, you know, uh, George Romero set. Like I said, I think some of these might be, I'm not 100% I'm not certain on that, so I'm not going to say for sure. I know, though, the um, Donnie Darko collection here from Arrow Video, I know that one is out of print. And I think this 4K of Texas Chainsaw Massacre might be out of print. I know the house set is, I don't have the house four movie set, I have all four of the movies, these are the UK releases, those are though uh, region free ones, I have a whole lot of different Arrow video ones kind of mixed in here, and a lot of, like I said, a lot of those sets have gone out of print, you know, since they first came out, the limited edition versions of them, but you can still get the standard editions of a lot of these ones, but the limited ones are the ones that usually go out of print pretty quick. But up here, though, this is one of the ones, the Arrow ones I know is out of print. This is the Reanimator set, a really cool set here, and then a couple other random things up here. Um, I don't know for sure. I believe this Killer Clowns edition here is out of print but there's a whole lot of mixed things in here like some of the vinegar syndrome stuff like sex world is out of print i believe the video drone set there is out of print and then up here is like a whole bunch of mishmash of like some of the new stuff that i've gotten recently but like i said it's hard to know for sure every single thing that is but like i like randomly like um I do know, though, some of those ones like that are out of print. Like I said, let me know below some of the other ones that you guys know. Some other really good uh, out of print ones, if you guys ever come across these ones for a good price. Sometimes you find these ones, though, not in the actual tins. They're uh, like this, you come across them. 
and I've seen them this way. But these tin things, um, originally when these came out, I believe the reason why, too, they're so rare was these were only in the, originally in the Disney stores. I remember having to buy them in the Disney stores, and they were really expensive. I think they were like 50 bucks or something when they came out, something like that. These came out, I don't know exactly what year it was. It was like, I, can't, I cannot say for sure exactly when they came out, but I have like, they're really good like archival footage. They had some for Zorro and other ones as well, but um, I've always been a, been a fan of Disney and like Disney World, Disneyland, and this was all like on Tomorrowland, Disneyland, uh, Secrets, Stories, and Magic. This was Disneyland. It has like some footage from the opening day. A lot of times when you see those like people when they have clips of Disneyland or on the features on the Blu-rays and stuff showing like early Disney footage they came from these sets is where they have these things uh, this one is like behind the scenes of Walt Disney Studios these are really cool a lot of dust on them but really really cool ones if you ever come across these ones cheap they're definitely ones I would recommend picking up but they're usually like places charged for, for a lot of these like 50 to 100 bucks and like the Zorro one is like 120 so they're all kind of all over the place and and these ones though you never you don't see them much you really don't much anymore and like I said if you do you usually don't see the tins and over here though of course all of the Are You Afraid of the Darks these Canadian releases here these were all the Canadian editions I remember like when these were first coming out they were, I had like it was some of the first times I ordered anything from the Canadian Amazon and like I was always like up on like every like couple months when these were releasing they're out as well in the US but on these burn on demand releases which I, I don't really like those editions but if you guys ever come across these ones these are really really cool ones the only ones that like that's in print is like the Freaky Favorites edition which I think I have over here behind these things. Let me see if I can get it out here. This is the one, let me see, I'll take this out, that this Freaky Favorites one, which was actually released in um, Walmarts in the U.S. as well. For some reason, this was like the only one that came out in America, this Freaky Favorites, which has like episodes, I think they were all from the later season, like the last seasons of the show. But these are some of my favorite ones that I have. Like, And this is also one of my favorite shows ever like I you know goosebumps and stuff I liked as well but uh that was of course like my favorite though uh, Fray the Dark and they're actually going to be bringing that back in some form on Nickelodeon uh Erie Indiana this is another one you know it's not super pricey but you don't come across this anymore but an amazing show like I, I one of my favorite like childhood shows of course though all these um unsolved mysteries are really rare to come across I know they're up on Amazon now you can watch them I don't know if they, sometimes they like change around the openings and stuff like that, but these ones I know were the original ones. And I think the reason why these are so hard to get is I believe they were like only at Walmart when they first came out, or that was one of the main places I remember seeing them. And like, it's weird though, like it drives me crazy because one of them called the Bizarre Murders one, I know I bought it. I remember buying it when it first came out and I have not seen it in probably 10, 11, 12 years. So I have no idea what happened to it. The um, UFO one, that's a pretty common one though. This is a really good one if you come across it, the best of Munsolve Mysteries because this has like some of the best of episodes in this one. And it's like the best pride collection if you can find that one for cheap. Some of the other ones in here, uh, and I, I know in here though there's a whole lot of other ones, but I'm trying to just like mention the ones that are coming to mind. You know, here's another one though. Treehouse Hostages, I know this Jim Varney one is out of print here, which is um, a really obscure Jim Varney film, you know, who played Ernest in the Ernest films. It was actually a fun, like one of his later films before he passed away, but just a fun, ridiculous movie. Uh, of course, Camp Go Manga is one of my favorite out-of-print ones. I even, when I, t I even talked about this one in, in my Happy Death Day parody, if you guys never saw that. I love this movie. It's another TV film, and it was made, and it has a whole lot of the kids from the ABC, um, you know, um, TGIF shows at the time, so it's kind of cool to get them all together and, the, and them in camp. And you know, Jaleel White is in here, like doing this amazing rap song. Um, another one of my favorite movies that people really don't like that much, but I love this movie. Watched this movie so many times. Uh, Doctor Jekyll and Mrs Hyde, and that's one of the one of the companies too. The HBO Video. Um, some of them can be really really pricey and out of print, and then some of the HBO releases can be super common. So not all of the HBO ones are rare. Clifford is also 
out of print as well. It's not a super pricey one. I'm hoping this comes to Blu-ray though. I feel I feel like um, you know, Kino or something might release this. Um, and it's one of those movies too. I feel like when it first came out, people gave it a lot of crap. And I feel like in the recent years, more people have embraced this and really um, understood like how amazing this is. Like the weird comedy and the fact Martin Short, who's like 40, playing like an eight-year-old kid. I think he's supposed to be eight or ten, something like that. It's the weirdest thing in the world because they wanted like Macaulay Culkin and all these other people and they all passed on this. So they, <laughs> they ended up just having Martin Short do it. But just an amazing movie. I Probably one of my most watched movies of all time. Um, Little Monsters, which I think I heard that Shout Factory is releasing this. I'm not 100% certain, though. But, um, and this is out of print, the U.S. DVD. But don't bother with that one anymore, honestly, if you come across it. Because you can get the um, U.K. Blu-ray pretty cheap. And it's a region-free release, so there's no region locking on it. And it's got deleted scenes and all kinds of stuff. So that one, if you come across that, you know, it's, if it's really cheap, you can get it. But it's in full screen, the DVD of that. And this is an amazing transfer on it. It's widescreen and everything. Um... Ewok Adventures. These are other favorite ones I watched growing up as a kid. I, I know they're not amazing or perfect or anything, but I think I like them a lot more because I watched them as a kid. And this is one of my other favorite ones here. A comedy one. This is, you never hear about this movie, starring um, Keanu Reeves called The Prince of Pennsylvania. I found this one for only one dollar. It's one of the image entertainment ones. A lot of those ones too have gone out of print, but not all of them. So always check the prices of these. But this is like a really weird movie. I think he did this, because you know how Bill and Ted took a while to come out. I think he did this around the same time, like right before or right after, but a really amazing movie you never hear about, and it's super, super rare one. Also, this one here, Under Wraps, is another one I found for one dollar. I was really happy to find this. This one has like a different cover as well. This is one of the early Disney Channel original movies, but there's an alternate cover for this one as well. I like this one on it, though, but another one that's really rare, and like I said, another, this is also an Echo Bridge release, but one you never come across, but lucky enough, that was one I found for a dollar as well the same time I found Prince of Pennsylvania and these are some other really obscure things that I have that I don't feel like anyone has these the TV show the surreal life which I used to love this show especially this season that you know um, this has season one and season two Especially the one with Terry Faye Baker and Vanilla Ice and Ron Jeremy that was like my favorite of that series I think it went for like four or five seasons something like this but you never come across these and they were in like really weird cases so i had to take them and put them like into their own actual thing see they're really poorly put together the way i did it but they were in this set that was like a really odd box i think you had to order these because they don't even have a upc code on them i'm pretty sure i remember ordering these from like they had like a website or something you could guys could get these from. But like I said, you never, and these are not bootlegs. These were real, actual releases that they sold. But these are some of those things that I feel like I've never seen anyone show in their collections. And like super obscure ones. I don't know what they're worth, but I never, ever see them. And that's definitely a pretty obscure one. If you guys somehow came across those ones, highly would recommend those ones for sure. I'm pretty sure Swamp Thing the series is another one you don't see too much. And over here with the actual Blu-rays, which is kind of a mix of like comedies, dramas all together, I don't know of too many out of print ones. Like I said, in the comments below, let me know some ones that you guys know about so that I can like, um, you know, so other people know in the comments that you guys have. This particular one is out of print, this Beetlejuice one that has a CD sampler and this really cool lenticular cover, cover here. I think this was like, I feel like it was like a Best Buy exclusive or something. Thing, but I always really love that one. You never come across that. Uh, this one, Dogma, is out of print here. Um, and the Blu-ray isn't, I mean, the DVD of this one, I think there's like a deluxe edition, which is kind of obscure to come across. Uh, Papillion, this one here is out of print as well, because it's like the, uh, the digi book here. It's the remake of this is coming out with Remy Malik, which I'm interested in seeing. I looked at the trailer, though. It just sort of seems like the same thing again. I don't know. I really love that, the original movie, though. This one, surprisingly, is out of print, Mean Girls. Some of the Paramount ones, check the prices of these ones, guys, because some of these ones have gone out of print. They, but some of them, though, the early, early ones... I've had like odd playback issues. Like I meant, like for like the first ever release ones. I don't know why. Um, for like, um, uh, I don't know, Event Horizon, I think I had one with. 
but it was really sporadic though. Um, I know Wild at Heart here, this Twilight Time one is out of print. This one, um, the new edition of this is coming out soon though, the uh, Shout Factory, Shout Select one, but this particular one is out of print. And what, probably one of my favorite David Lynch ones you don't hear about too often. Of course, Willow. This one is out of print. If you guys ever come across this one, and I'm lucky enough to have the one of this one with the, with the slip cover. I think this went out of print because it's one of the you know um, movies that George Lucas produced, and it, I think it did when they like changed over or something like that with. Um, Disney buying the films and I don't know if they bought this one something like that and I also did forget to mention though about these are out of print uh, both the Ace Ventura films the one thing though that's a shame though even though it says it on here includes the um, additional scene it's not on this it's like that additional scene which is like one of my favorite scenes ever of Ace Ventura when he goes in the tank and he starts doing that really weird voice like okay 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 like yeah, <laughs> but that was cut from this and it really is a shame Hopefully down the line, this comes out again on Blu-ray or maybe 4K, and they put that scene in it because I love that scene. That was like one of my favorite things. So that was the only way I ever saw it because I don't, I don't think I saw this movie in theaters the first one. I know I saw the second one, but I don't think I saw the first one in theaters. So hopefully one day they release that one. I still have the DVD though of the movie, so at least I can see it that way. So anyway though guys, that's all for my out of print DVD Blu-ray video. Like I said, pretty much just went through, found a lot of the ones that I know that are out of print. I know for sure that I missed some. So let me know in the comments below though, any uh, out of print DVDs, Blu-rays. I don't think there's any out of print 4Ks though, but any out of print DVDs, Blu-rays, box sets, or anything like that, you know, that you guys know about. Let me know below some of those ones as well. But anyway though guys, thanks so much for watching, subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.